Ghost, one of the hottest bands on the planet, have some very big plans in the works, according to Tobias Forge himself. Now, when it comes to bands that have theatrical elements to them, I've always wondered what it would look like if we ever got a Slipknot movie or a Kiss movie. Kiss, I guess, has kind of done movies. They had Detroit Rock City, which was a pretty good film, but delving specifically into the characters or the lore of the band. And now it looks like Ghost is actually pursuing that path. This is a band that time and time again, I've even been wrong about them, where I'm wondering, you know, oh, how does this band continue to grow? I've been proven wrong. They are doing everything right, and they are just going to continue to be a global band. I don't think they're done growing yet. I think they have a lot more room to grow, grow worldwide. And now you have Tobias Ford speaking to Metal Hammer about a movie they're working on. Now, there was some controversy last month when the band played two sold-out performances at the Forum in Los Angeles. And for those shows, it was announced that no cell phones were going to be allowed. Now, there were concerns that we're entering into a new dystopian world where you can't bring a phone to a show. There are people who are fed up with, understandably fed up with people constantly filming in front of them and blocking their views. Totally get that. For me, I'm not so sure the solution is preventing people from being able to access their shows. This is done in comedy with much smaller crowds. I don't know how you do that with football stadiums, especially those pouches can be easily accessed. And so, anyways, though, it turns out that that performance and that whole controversy was related to something totally understandable here, where Ghost was filming for a movie. But this isn't a concert. This isn't a concert film where it's just Ghost performing. Apparently, this is going to be a movie movie, and they were using the scenery from that for a bigger overall film. So says the man himself, Tobias Forge, to Metal Hammer. This is what he had to say. Tobias told Metal Hammer, which I've linked to in the description, he said, we were essentially shooting a film and we used two nights of crowds as extras. It's gonna be a film with a concert element. So a lot of what you experienced is going to be a part of this project. Now, the interviewer asked Tobias if this was gonna be something like Metallica did, where it was a movie with a concert element to it. Through the Never was the movie Metallica did, and uh, apparently that was, they spent a lot of money doing that. They didn't recoup the money on it. Tobias said, in the sense that it's a concert with something else combined, so he's obviously being very mum about this movie, but this sounds big. This is a very big project here, and uh, to see them putting together a movie like this at the right time while the band is huge is a rarity. I think this is a very, very smart move by Ghost. Now, he said that he was nervous about the production going into that show, going into the filming being done. He said, quote, when I first started putting it together, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to faint because there's so much to think about. And then it was like, no, 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 don't think about it at all. Now, Tobias went on to say he enjoyed the cell phone band for those shows. He said, I've never seen a crowd interact the way they did since I was in a club band. They were the best shows I've ever done with Ghost, just because I didn't have to see those fucking mobile phones. So, I mean, there it is right there. You can see Tobias does not like having uh, cell phones at shows. And, um, you know, I am a person who understands not wanting to have a bunch of sh phones at your shows but i am also of the mind that you are if you get into banning shows with any regularity you're going to have a lot of people that are not going to go or are going to face a lot of backlash i'd like to hear what you think about that in the comments and especially i would like to hear whether or not you would like to see one of your favorite bands make a movie i think production costs in films are going down i think there are a lot of unique opportunities for bands to do movies, documentaries, all kinds of really cool stuff. And you can bet this ghost movie they're working on sounds like a very big deal and I'm really excited to see what they come up with. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Stick around, subscribe. We got some news involving Tool coming up and we'll see you all very soon.